Hey guys, Rick at the Rally Sport Direct here. I am so excited to be doing this video, mainly because, well, what's in front of me? And if you don't know, it is the Cosworth Stage 2 kit. So, what does that mean? Obviously, we've got the Cosworth Stage 1 kit installed on our 2014 Scion FRS, and this is the Stage 2. Whoa, I'm almost tipping things over here. And what this includes is a supercharger kit. But what a supercharger kit it is, obviously it includes a new intake manifold, very high volume intake manifold, a uh, twin screw supercharger, and of course we've got our, I guess you want to call this an intercooler, it's really a heat exchanger because it runs off of, um, it's basically a water to air uh, intercooler as opposed to an air to air intercooler. And this thing is just gorgeous. Obviously there's a lot of other components in this kit. So many components includes everything you're gonna need to install it, but I couldn't fit everything up here on my table. So I just really wanted to give you guys kind of an overview of the bulk of it. So first of all, let's talk about the heat exchanger. And you can see that there, it's covering my face. A uh, beautiful Cosworth logo on there, beautiful aluminum heat exchanger. And of course this is gonna mount in the front of the car. Awesome, uh, I'm really excited for this whole, well, really this whole kit to be installed on this car because obviously anybody who has an FRS or a BRZ, these cars are just begging for more power. We've done suspension, we've done a wide body kit on ours, we've done uh, larger tires and an LSD, and it is time for more power. And that's why I'm so excited for this. So uh, let's go over the intake manifold here. Let me just go ahead and push this off to the side. All right, so this beautiful intake manifold, all cast aluminum. You can see the Cosworth logos here. And then the supercharger, I'm gonna flip this over, is actually gonna mount underneath. And that's the reason, well, I guess one of the reasons why it is so high up, you know, above the actual uh, heads in the engine itself is because our supercharger, this guy, is gonna mount right here. And it just makes for a very clean install. It's gonna look fantastic in the engine bay. Uh, this includes literally everything we're gonna need to install it, uh, tuning included, and I am just so excited to get this installed in the car. I'm gonna start on this today. Um, I probably won't get finished uh, with it until tomorrow, so it might, you know, might take me a little bit of time. I really wanna take my time on this, uh, making sure I get everything hooked up correctly, but uh, just due to the nature of this type of supercharger, you know, really it shouldn't be too bad. Obviously I'm gonna have to take off the front bumper, run the plumbing to the heat exchanger, uh, and then, you know, just kind of attaching all the little ancillaries here. And I'm just so, so excited to get this installed in the car. It's gonna sound awesome, it's gonna look awesome, and it's going to perform even better. And that's what I'm really excited for. This twin screw supercharger uh, is gonna be amazing. The efficiency of this whole kit is what we're, uh, well, what I'm most excited for is just because it should be one of the most efficient superchargers on the market. And I really wouldn't expect anything else from Cosworth. Uh, just, I finally, I guess, it, the, it, the time has come. You know, the uh, FRS is going to see some boost and I'm genuinely excited to get this installed. So let's go ahead and get started. So we've just got our back our FRS from the dyno and we really wanted to see what the Cosworth Stage 2 Supercharger Kit could put down. We put down 261.9 horsepower. So I wanted to go over some basic components of this kit which allowed us to get those numbers. So basically, first of all, is the highly efficient intercooler system. We've got two air to water intercoolers sitting in the intake manifold and then you've got this giant heat exchanger sitting out up front and that keeps the air intake temperatures nice and cool uh, for this roots type blower. And it's just a fantastic system. It utilizes an OEM uh, intake system where we use a high flow filter running up through a custom uh, intake pipe down through the throttle body 
air gets compressed in the supercharger up through the intercoolers and down into the engine uh, to be burned. It's a fantastic system and incredibly high quality. You can see that it looks almost OEM on the car, which is fantastic. Yeah, so let's go see how she drives. So we went over all the components, but the biggest thing is how does this thing drive? Well, let's go ahead and give it a shot. <laughs> I love this car. So it pulls so incredibly well. And not only does it pull you know, all the way up to redline, but we could be here at 3,500 RPMs, get into it, and it just goes and goes. And it has so much more low end torque than the factory engine. It is ridiculous. The kit really is incredibly well rounded. Not only does it look OEM, but it just gives us so much more power everywhere throughout the entire RPM range. So we made 150 wheel horsepower on the factory car on a Mustang Dyno. We made 261 on a Dyno Jet. Now granted, the Mustang does read quite a bit lower, but realistically, we probably saw just a little over 80 wheel horsepower gain, which is fantastic. And we see a very nice gain all the way through the RPM range, which is exactly what we want with the supercharger. Incredible throttle response just power everywhere you can really have some fun with this kit let's go ahead and of course it handles incredibly well too i'm gonna get myself into trouble here <laughs> okay, anyway, uh, if you want to see the uh, the dyno video we did, uh, make sure to click the link at the end of this video, and also make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're going to keep on working on this car, keep on building it up, and uh, thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.